Hello everyone, before we start today's video, if you could all do me a solid and lightly tap the like button, perhaps share the video about and leave a comment. If you are not subscribed, subscribe as well. It would greatly help this channel. Thank you very much. Captain's Log, Subdates 220725.2 We've tapped into our reserve energy as we're really struggling to deal with Dainty and the Ralpha Mania. I'm sending pods out to get supplies, and I am taking the cell ship out to dump Bork's phallus in Shamu's blowhole. He will learn this lesson. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to talk about a rather interesting turn of events, one that I think at this point was inevitable, but also talk about other trending tags that have cropped up during the week. Because as is unsurprising at this point, tradition. Amber Heard has been trending for a while. It hasn't stopped, it hasn't relented, the tags have gotten more creative. Johnny Depp himself has in fact been trending as well, under the Mr. Dot Depp. The tag that was trending for Amber Heard this week more notably was Amber Heard is a wife beater. It was in caps, so I thought I'd get closer to the microphone if it hurt your eardrums headphone warning in advance. <laughs> and of course, talk about later on the swerve that Johnny Depp inevitably threw. And I do believe it's right, we go through why it even happened in the first place because it could have been avoided. That's not to say it'll work, but at this point, if it does, it will be mm, 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 scrumdiddly umptious. So to the first trending tag, Mr. Dot Depp. My belief as to why this was trending was because Amber Heard had failed in her bid that we discussed last time to get, well, things changed. A do-over. Yes, she's a good girl. She really wanted a second go at the, you know, yeah. All attempts thus far have failed on Amber Heard's part. That's not to say she's going to stop. She is still looking at options and there are options available. They are, of course, getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It is my belief at this point, it's only once all have been exhausted that she'll finally just say, I'm sorry, can you, can, can you let me not play, please, I can't afford it. Because I firmly believe until then, up until the 11th hour, she's still going to believe the smell of her own farts. So some of the more notable tweets from the Mr. Dot Depp trending tag. Hashtag Judge Ascarati, this court is bound by the competent decision of the jury. Hashtag Ben Shu. The jury's verdict on these three statements in the complaint reflects the jury's determination that Mr. Depp did not in fact abuse Miss Heard, and that Miss Heard was lying about being a victim of abuse, something which many of her supporters truly ignore. Francis Boyton, Mr. Depp, a DV victim, and his supporters have indeeded revealed the scourge. It is a long pastime at Twitter, takes the necessary steps to deal with such truly reprehensible users. Unlike Ms. Dot Barlow, Eve Barlow for those who don't know and she's a stan for Amber Heard. I believe the matter can and should be dealt with now, not one day. End thread. I'm not entirely sure how you deal with them, because I think many would argue you shouldn't put it on the same pedestal as what others have done on platforms when it came to discussing coronavirus. Legally, Leon. Also, how was it rigged? Mr. Depp was not able to prove that the paper libeled him. In an American court, he wouldn't have had a leg to stand on. Under our harsher standard, not only did he not prove libel, the son had to and did demonstrate the truth of their choice of words. Actually, no, they didn't. What they did was prove high probability in 12 out of 14 instances. High probability does not mean they proved anything. It is still an inferring and without any concrete evidence to substantiate it. Speaks volumes about the clown circus parade doodah thingamajig, what's it, that is the criminal justice system in the United Kingdom. Now there are more tweets further down that actually allude to the real reason that Mr. Depp was trending, but I instead want to shift our focus to hashtag Amber Heard is a wife beater, the trending tag that I need to give you another headphone warning for, you're welcome. Dior. Real water drinkers know that all water does not taste the same. Dick Warlock. Imagine how Dior became even more popular for siding with Johnny. And on the other side, you see L'Oreal getting shit on for siding with Amber. Warner will get shit on too for not removing Amber from Aquaman 2. Just gonna insert a random comment about poop. When Amber heard shat in the bed and blamed on the dog, to me that was like a, a Z-list version of a horse head in a bed. Which I guess means that Amber Heard's a part of some kind of 
Mafia, a mob. I wonder what kind of mob that is. Hmm. Organized crime, domestic terrorism. Ooh, one does wonder. Victoria Lawrence. Tough times for you and your mistaken support. A retweet of Eve Barlow of hashtag Amber Heard is a liar. Lost an alliance with Evan Rachel Wood is a liar. Hashtag and at bot sentinel. Was a total fail. Your Davo Depp hashtag trended for about an hour. Maybe it's time to admit Johnny Depp never laid a hand on Amber Heard. Hashtag Amber Heard is a wife beater. Evan Rachel Wood recently on Instagram put out some statements via story and it seemed to imply that she was moving away from supporting Amber Heard. The problem for Evan Rachel Wood is currently Marilyn Manson is fighting his own iteration of a defamation at the hands of Evan Rachel Wood. I don't know enough about the situation though to know who is in the right and who's in the wrong. So do forgive me for not being able to add additional context or news or information. All I know is Manson wants her to talk and others are claiming that by doing that, he is trying to have her silenced. Deposed, I believe is the word. Eve Barlow had said that Hollywood is the place where staying close to power is mistaken for loyalty. While it is well established in many industries, Hollywood is no exception here. It is not how good you are, it's who you know. That's generally how it works and how you get work. Unless you're a really good actor and actress and other type of, you know, performer. Camilla, I am genuinely worried for the Justice for Johnny movement because these people are sharing some kind of mass delusion and it's visibly unhealthy. I believe some actually do know he's an abuser and don't care, but the majority of them are just completely brainwashed. I would like you, Camilla, to look into a mirror and just see how deluded you are for being the other person. Retweeted by flying monkeys everywhere. She's worried for Johnny Depp supporters. Does she not remember the Amber Heard crazies with their cut for Amber movement? These Amber Heard folks are literally playing a game of no you all day hypocrisy to the max. Images accompanying showing that there are a number of accounts that have been found to have violated Twitter's rules. Going to insert now, the cut for Amber movement was a troll. It was not real. Please, please do your research first. Unpronounceable name, I'm gonna go with the at Cat in Texas. Amber Heard was ready for this to end. Narcissists will never take a loss. Girl, the world, globe, knows you're a liar. Hashtag Amber Heard deserves prison. Hashtag Amber Heard is a wife beater. Chloe, so you're trying to say that all women are abused by men. It's not men getting abused by women. That is idiotic and you clearly don't have a brain cell. A retweet of Charlotte Proudman. Charlotte Proudman is a big Amber Heard stan. Big stan. To the point that much of her Twitter account covers female victims of various crimes. In this case though, well, the abuser. Dr. Charlotte Proudman had tweeted, Amber Heard has appealed. Hashtag I stand with Amber Heard and every other woman who wants to speak out. You can stand with them, but I'd advise taking a few steps away when you realize she lost. Standing with her does not make anyone else who's a legitimate victim look good. So now I've given you some tweets, some information, some comedy to digest. Let's talk about what Johnny Depp has done that got Mr. Depp to trend in the first place. Perhaps I should have done that second. So courtesy of the LA Times, Johnny Depp wanted to move on from her trial but fired back with his own appeal. It looks like the legal battle between exes Amber Heard and Johnny Depp has just entered a new chapter. A day after Amber Heard filed her appeal on Thursday, Johnny Depp followed up with an appeal of his own. The actor will challenge the verdict that awarded his ex-wife $2 million at the conclusion of their defamation trial. In a statement provided to the LA Times, with the representative saying, the verdict speaks for itself and Mr. Depp believes that this is a time for both parties to move on with their lives and heal. But if Miss Heard is determined to pursue further litigation by appealing the verdict, Mr. Depp is filing a concurrent appeal to ensure that the full record and all legal issues are considered by the Court of Appeal. The fun fact here really is, Johnny Depp was never going to pull that trigger if Amber Heard simply walked away. And not like the meme I showed you earlier that's now back on the screen. No, if she just admitted fault and instead of going down the path she went down, walked the other way, a fork in the road as it were. Think the Green Day song, Time of Your Life, yeah? Go down the other one. Simply walk away with some dignity, a little dignity, a modicum of dignity in favor of whatever it is now you're doing where you are risking further defamation and a guarantee your kid is not going to go to a good school because you're going to barely be able to afford to feed them. Especially if the insurer sues you and adds to your misery. You're going to be living in a state of perpetual debt 
I wonder if you have a version of step change over there. Now let's talk about Johnny Depp's appeal. I personally don't believe he'll win. I think this is just a joke, just to make sure everything's on record and that if she's going to explore these options, he'll do it too. But now let's talk about why. Because Johnny Depp is essentially being done for guilt by association, which is where she got her settlement from. A settlement that does, in effect, render her debt slightly less. You know, two million less. Almost a fifth less. Not that it is in any way, shape or form remotely affordable, but let's go with that. Let's just, let's just humour this for a moment. One of Johnny Depp's lawyers spoke ill and it was caught. That is where she had been defamed by his team. He was found guilty of that. And only that. So there might be a point here, you know. It's a tangible, small one, but it's an amusing one nonetheless. And personally, I want to see how that plays out as well, because I think, as is right, if you are going to do this, Amber Heard, Johnny should be allowed to do it as well. He's busy doing his own thing right now, preparing for the release of a new album with Jeff Beck, going on tour, having a laugh, Amber Heard, damage control and trying desperately to find a way out. Because she refuses to admit she was in the wrong. Refusing to admit consequences for her actions that were caught on video and audio tape her own history, proving that she is a truly abhorrent person, a cretin, less than human because she treats her life as better than everyone else's. So I guess this appeal should be a right laugh then, really won't it?